So I was pretty foolish last time. Like I came into this completely bare, raw, unprotected. I've realized the foolishness of my past mistakes and I refuse to make those mistakes again. So this time I brought a little bit of protection for myself. I don't want to get caught up injuring my eyes. I really respect these things. And uh, last time my eyes were just short of bleeding. I just want to do everything I can to protect myself from the amount of cringe that these videos can actually hit you with. I actually want to distort the image as much as possible. It's like looking at the sun, you want protection. You don't want to expose your retinas to pure debauchery and cringe. Oh, man, this is actually really uncomfortable. But you know, you gotta be uncomfortable to be safe sometimes. Got myself some earplugs. So hopefully I can actually get through this video without having my brains leak out of my ears. And uh, there we go. I think we're ready. The so last time we watched the video go for it, it was Corey Feldman's like performance for his band Corey's Angels. It was art. <laughs> Artists, they just, yeah, they do. They have to go for it. Was it good? No, it wasn't good. I wouldn't say it was good. Was it terrible? You know, it was not great. He realized it went viral for all the wrong reasons. So he was like, what better way to defend this than going back for a redemption shot? So he went back and did another performance. Boom, take that. So Corey is back Woo! in our studio to talk about the performance. Just cheers for himself. Ooh, me. Yay, me, though. And take another song for us from his new double CD, Angelic to the Core. He was like, let's just do a, a double pressed album for this guy. Earplug fell out. That could have been really, really dangerous if I wasn't paused, guys. Hey, Corey, good to see you. Hello, and thank you so much for all the love and support. We love you. Thank you. Of course, listen, you know, we were reading some of these tweets, and, and they bordered on just awful. The worst. Insanity. But what people didn't know, you were hearing from a lot of people. Pink. Yeah, Pink, Kesha, Miley Cyrus, Paris Jackson. They Michael Jackson's out. daughter reached out to you. Yes, and she was lovely. Lovely young girl. When did you realize that it was all noise and you needed to be true to you? I'm doing my best to listen to this and like kind of just get through what he's saying. But what the hell is he wearing? Why are you dressed in all gold? Man, this is fucking up bad. Put some air into it, you know? Why is it that Corey Feldman is dressed like he is an old alchemical painting He's dressed like a character from like a tarot card. You know what? A friend of mine who actually helped, he's an investor of mine, his name is Brian McMullen, and he was on the phone with me. I was all depressed and I was crying. And he said, think of it this way. When Kiss first started, when Eminem first started, when Nirvana first started, all of that hate, people were turning them off at the radio stations. People were walking off the dance floor at the clubs because it didn't make sense to them at that time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did he really just compare himself to all these amazing artists? When Kiss first started, when Eminem first started, when Nirvana first started. Yeah, compared himself to Kiss, Nirvana, Eminem, like these amazing artists who changed the way that the music that they were doing was viewed and perceived. Like he's correct that they were misunderstood when they first started. Corey Feldman has been making music since the late 80s. He's been doing this for like 30 fucking years. But those all became amazing legends. Right. So just think of it that way. And that really turned it around for me because I'm like, you know what, you're right. Just think of it that way. <laughs> just think of what I do as like, I'm a legend. And then you can kind of get on board with how I see myself. I feel like the angel in the back is like smiling, but because she knows that this is horseshit. A lot of people get hate in the beginning because we're doing something new. It hasn't been done before. But it's all about innovation and being an artist, and we can't be afraid to share our art. So you're not afraid to go at it again today? I'm not letting the bullies get to us. And this song, by the way, is for America. We are at a time right now where the world needs to focus really on peace and love and tolerance, especially with all the bullying. This is about the government. This is about the race. This is about the United Here we go. States. There you go. She like cuts him off. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. There we go. There we go. Wrap it up, Feldman.
will say I'm still getting quite a lot of fucking cringe photons penetrating the glasses and straight into my rods and cones. So his interpretive dance from the first video, he was clearly some, some sort of rave bird. This time he's just a, a fish, I believe. A lot of you are missing the deeper meaning behind some of the things that he does. He's telling a story about nature or something. I guess. Feeling quite severe. And then take some of these off. Whew, fogging up on me. He sings like. so deep if we could just not suffer if we could just get along and not be me in what a deep guy you know socrates gandhi marcus aurelius nietzsche <clears throat> cory feldman <laughs> Every time I watch them perform, I get like a very school of rock vibe. The girls in the back, like learning their instrument and they're like, I don't know. It just feels very school of rock. Basically what I'm saying is they perform like children. But we do, we need peace right now. And we need love, somehow. Just get up off the ground and... You man, get up at the bend, yeah. And he gives you this look like we're all in this together. All he's thinking is like, I'm killing this man. My voice is beautiful, got a deep message, I got beautiful angels behind me, I'm singing about America. What is not to like about my beautiful art? That's how he sees this. And then the rest of the world sees a grown man playing dress up, doing like karaoke, but it's worse because it's not karaoke and it's a man who takes himself 100% seriously. Yes, it does matter now. I still can't stop the He's got like a small list of power moves and one of them is mid-show outfit change. <laughs> How much clothing and shit is he gonna fucking take off? Oh man, it'd be so funny if he just ended the concert just completely naked. Just slowly through the song, he's taking more and more clothing off. Cameraman and everybody's like looking at each other like, when when do we when do we cut this? He's slowly he's slowly, he's slowly taking all his clothes off. Fuck, that's hilarious. Oh my god, no. He thought that that was gonna be the moment. <laughs> this is why he chose this song, is because he knew that there was gonna be like this part in the middle where he could just really showcase his talent. Really just 
get into it. It's like he was so close and then it just went way haywire. Just took the biggest left turn. the flag dude he just uses people he uses the flag he just uses items that he thinks trigger somebody's like heart and emotions and he just leeches off of these ideas in this like phony attitude of like caring about things and then he just applies god-awful music on top of it to try to like trojan horse his sh his bullshit music it's just bad and I, honestly i feel bad for the guy like he's such a good actor well he was he he had all right well well he had oh he had good movies you know he had some and then everybody in hollywood surrounded him and told him he could do anything and like i guess this is what happens this is why, you know, it's important that you fail and that you don't deny that you failed and take responsibility for the cringy things that you do and the bad things that you do and all, all of your downsides. Because if you don't, then you end up whatever, whatever this is, is how frighteningly realistic it gets when you cannot see yourself for what you are. At like the end of that when he's just holding up his peace sign like he just he's a cult leader he's dressed exactly how a cult leader would dress now i think take these guys out now <laughs> basically you're just watching somebody fail at having a cult anyways there's his redemption he showed us he showed us anyways like subscribe hit the notification bell you'll get notified when i upload new videos anyways thanks guys see you next time peace